Pre-germinating grass seed is hands down the fastest way to grow grass, and I'm gonna prove it to you. In this video, my grass started growing in less than 24 hours. It was crazy, and you won't believe how tall it was after only seven days. This pre-germinating method saves you time, money, and gets better results than the conventional seeding methods that you've tried before. I'm a naturally very skeptical person, and when I first heard about this method, I was like, no way that actually works, but boy was I wrong. The incredible results at the end of the video are gonna make you a believer too. To get started, you need a five gallon bucket and I'm pretty sure you already have one. Mine, of course, is orange as a symbol of my undying love for the Home Depot. Next, you'll need some paint strainer bags and they can be sourced locally. But if you want the exact ones I'm using in the video, I got them from Amazon and there will be a link for you in the video description. You want the kind that fit over buckets. They'll have elastic around the openings and generally come in packs of 10 or so. Finally you need your favorite grass seed. I'm using Black Beauty Ultra by Jonathan Green, but you can use whatever you like. Oh, and you don't want to use the coated seed from the big box stores for this method. So anything that says coated seed or is touting less watering or something to that effect, or the seed is just a different color in general, like blue, for example, that's a no-go. You want pure, unaltered grass seed for this, AKA the good stuff. Stretch one of the paint strainers over the end of a bucket and grab that favorite bag of grass seed. Quantity depends on how big of an area you're actually seeding. So just pour in whatever you need. Now for big seeding projects, you might need multiple bags and multiple buckets. Remove the strainer from the bucket and tie it off on one end so none of those little seedies can escape. Fill your bucket full of water, but leave just a little bit of room at the top because next we'll be submerging the bag of grass seed for 24 hours. You do want it fully submerged, so you might have to add weight to the top of it to keep it under the water. Mine sunk to the bottom after getting wet, but sometimes they like to float. So again, you'll need some sort of weight to put on the top just to make sure it stays underwater. The absolute hardest part about growing grass seed conventionally is keeping the seed wet for that first week. I've spent hours and hundreds of dollars moving sprinklers, adjusting timers, using various ground cover like peat moss and straw, to hold that moisture in and keep that new seed wet. The pre-germination process shortcuts that whole situation because I'm doing the hardest part before the seed is even in the ground. By pre-soaking the seed for the first 24 hours and then continuing to dunk the bag every 12 hours thereafter, I'm starting the germination process early and I'm shortening the time it takes for the grass to start growing once the seed is planted. It's science. And on top of all that, I'm increasing my germination stats significantly. More of my seed is actually going to sprout and grow into grass using this method. Now, how long do you continue to dunk the bag every 12 hours? What a sexy question. It'll at least be a few days and it depends on what type of seed you're using. But you do need to keep an eye on it because it will actually start growing in the bag. And if the water starts getting really gross, change it out for some fresh stuff. You'll see tiny little white roots start to pop. And when you see that, it's go time. If you look closely, you can see that some of the seeds have started to pop in this clip. That is perfect timing, but the window doesn't stay open long, so you need to move fast. If you wait too long, the grass will continue to grow and quickly become a tangled mess of roots and grass blades growing through the strainer bag, and the whole project will be ruined and you'll be sad. I had to make an extreme example of what happens, and as you can see, even though it's really cool that a bag of seed can just grow into grass, it's obviously not ideal deal for what we're trying to do. Now back to the project. Grab a wheelbarrow and get that bag of seed cut open. Now wet seed tends to clump together and it's not really going to spread very well by itself. You can add malorganite or humic acid as a carrier of sorts and mix it together with that wet seed to kind of break it apart and get it to a point where you could put it in a broadcast spreader and have success. With my malorganite all mixed in, I could actually spread this seed a lot better now and it's a little more workable. But for my project, I'm just gonna be spreading it by hand because it's a relatively small area. I'm doing three separate test areas. The first one is an area in my lawn that I've aerated and done some leveling work to. 
do. The second is an outdoor planter where I can easily monitor results. And because I don't trust the weather in the fall in Minnesota, I did a third test in an indoor planter tray. Now each of my test areas features pre-germinated seed planted next to seed that hasn't been soaked in water. All three tests utilize the same dirt and the same prep method. The same brand of seed taken from the same bag, the same light conditions, the same watering schedule, literally the same everything with the only variable being that some of the seed is pre-germinated and the other is it? I couldn't believe it, but in the first 24 hours, I actually had sprouts. This is largely due to me timing things because as soon as I started seeing those tiny white roots start to show through the bag, I quickly cut it open and planted my seed. By doing that, I was able to hit the timing perfect so that the seed was just about to pop as I was planting it into the soil. So we are off to the races and sprinting. Meanwhile, no action from the regular seed next to the pre-germinated seed. Now that whole fall weather in Minnesota thing that I was worried about that I mentioned just a minute ago quickly came into effect because of course it did. Temps plummeted below freezing and we actually got snow in October which for even Minnesota, that's super rare. And in case you didn't know, uh, snow on the ground isn't great weather for growing grass. But look at the results from the indoor planter trays. Within the first week, the first seven days, the pre-germinated grass seed is thick and tall and looks like it's just about ready for a trim. Now the regular seed next to it is coming in okay-ish, I guess, but the difference between the two planters is shocking. Remember, the testing conditions are identical and the only variable is the pre-germinated seed in one planter compared to the seed that wasn't soaked in water in the other planter. I didn't think the results were gonna be that different, but boy was I surprised and now I'm convinced that this is the way to plant seed. The fall temps stay cold for my outdoor tests but I still have clear results that are consistent with the indoor testing. The pre-germinated grass seed outgrew the regular seed in all three tests. Outdoors, indoors, it didn't matter. Pre-germinated actually dominated the regular seed and it wasn't even close. I'll definitely be pre-germinating all of my grass seed projects from here on out. If you like this video and I hope you did, think about subscribing to the channel. I've got more great content and testing coming soon. And if you've used the pre-germination method before, let me know how it worked out for you in the comments. Well, see you later.